begin to allow your body to relax, releasing the tension. Find every muscle in your body melting. Visualize a beautiful bubble of white light surrounding your entire body and aura. Anything positive or negative that would do you harm is not allowed to flow near. Calling in any guides, angels, archangels, gatekeepers, God, God ask the divine, that source creator that created you to be here now, to guide you, protect you, work with you, heal you. And we call in the great guardians, angels, archangels, and gatekeepers. We call in the direction of east, element of air, Archangel Raphael of the green ray. Turning clockwise to the direction of south, element of fire, Archangel Michael of the electric blue ray, coming in with his golden sword. And the direction of west, element of water, Archangel Gabriel of the Diamond White Ray. And North, Element of Earth, Archangel Uriel of the Red Ray. We invite you in to create the sacred container for protection, healing. We also invite in Archangel Sandolphin of the 5D Earth's crystalline grid below us, of the silver flame that rises up from the earth, filling your entire body, from your feet to your crown. And we invite in Archangel Shamuel of the Heart Center Gateway, who comes in with sparkling pink energy. And from above, Archangel Metatron of the Galactic Central Sun, Christ Grid, Buddha Consciousness, who comes in with the golden flame allowing that beautiful golden flame energy to flow in from above, filling your entire body and aura. Here in this sacred container, allow your body to relax, sending light to every cell of your body calling in light and light codes from all directions, 360 degrees. Feel and see that bright light flowing in, into your aura, into your being. You can call more in whenever you need it. Begin to see yourself in your beautiful, safe, sacred space. This may be by the ocean, in a garden, or somewhere deep in space amongst the stars. Wherever this is for you, this is your sacred space. Only those you invite are allowed to flow near. See the colors. Feel the energy. Really crystallize this in your vision. Here's where you can come anytime you need to find peace, healing, and rest. Rejuvenation. As you allow your awareness to go deeper inside now, Your main spirit guide, 
who is with you always, comes forward in your sacred space. Notice their features. Are they male or female? Are they simply energy? Are they a star being? Whoever comes forward for you, they are here to walk with you on your journey. Off in the distance, there is a portal of light, very bright. You and your guide make your way to this portal of light. And soon you step through the portal of light, feeling cleansed and purified as you step through this bright light, making your way to the other side of this portal of light you come to a sacred forest, secluded by trees. You can see stars from above as it is night. You begin your walk on this path. The season is autumn. And as you walk, you're crunching on the beautiful leaves that have fallen. Enjoying the night sounds, the owls in the distance, crickets and frogs. Notice the blue-green hue on the trees. Continuing your walk. Soon you make your way to a sacred grove, a serene, secluded sacred grove. As you step in, you can feel as if you are in a new space where time and space is of no essence. The time where the veil is the thinnest, somewhere in between. It feels like you are sinking into the forest floor, as well as rising up to the sky. The energy is magical here. And in the center of this small clearing, you take a seat on the grass, enjoying feeling the beautiful grass and earth as you sit. Your guide sits nearby And soon, a mystical shaman, a tribe elder, comes from the other side of this sacred, secluded area. Notice if they are male or female. What are they wearing? Feel the serenity and peace and wisdom from this ancient elder. Their energy is powerful and humble. As they step forward, they are holding a beautiful pie stone. It's a circular stone with a hole in the center. Notice what color the pie stone is for you. What type of crystal or stone The tribe elder comes forward and lets you know that they are going to give you the seer's right. As they stand behind you, you sit feeling the beautiful energy that is about to occur. They take their hands at their heart center, palms together, and they flow their palms up overhead, opening their crown chakra, and then up over your head, opening your crown chakra, where the kocha.
They place their hands on your shoulders, balancing divine feminine and masculine energy. And now they stand to one side of you, placing the pie on your forehead, your third eye. And they begin to draw a beautiful line of energy from the crown, from your third eye, over the crown of your head, the center of your head, all the way back to the base of your skull, your visual cortex, embedding filaments of light. And then they draw that pie stone back to the front. You may even begin to see and feel the energy as light energy. And now the pie stone is flowing to the side of your head, over your ear, and back to your visual cortex, making its way back around to the front and over to the other side, over your ear, to the back, connecting to your visual cortex, and back to the front, embedding those filaments of light. They continue in between those two filaments of light on the side of your head, diagonally going from front to back, and from your visual cortex back to your third eye. From the third eye over to the opposite side, diagonally making their way back and to the front. They hold the pie stone at your forehead. They hold their other hand at your visual cortex, feeling the energy. And then they switch. Pie stone comes to your visual cortex. And now the pie stone makes its way down around the back of your neck, down to your heart center. And all the way back up that same side of your neck to your visual cortex. And now the other side, down around the left side, down to your heart, and back all the way up to your visual cortex. One more time, the opposite side, that pie stone floats down, now making its way to your high heart center, just above the heart, usually seen as pink energy. And the pie makes its way back up to your visual cortex and around the other side, down around your neck to your high heart, and back up to your visual cortex. And the tribe elder or the shaman holds the pie stone at your visual cortex, holds your heart center, just embedding those filaments of light, feeling that energy transmit opening your third eye, your heart, your high heart, for deeper wisdom, vision, and clarity and understanding. And now they take the pie to your heart and they keep their other hand on your visual cortex, feeling that energy and now they release, making their way back and front, they lean in for forehead to forehead transmission, pressing their forehead to your forehead, feeling third eye and third eye connect, crown to crown connect, feeling that energy of the seer's right being transmitted more fully now. As they release, the tribe elder gives you a hug, congratulating you on receiving the seer's right, asking that you continue to work with the filaments of light, take this seed that has been planted, and continue to grow and evolve with the seer's right. The tribe elder, without one more word, steps behind you to close Huerta waving arms over your head, over their head. They begin to walk 
back the way they came. And here as you sit, you are now invited to find the medicine of your spirit animal. Your spirit guide animal is invited to come forth in this sacred realm. Note what comes forward for you here. Your spirit animal may not just be one, but often you will see one for now that is most prominently needing to give you a message. What animal comes forward for you? Is it a winged one, an owl, an eagle, hawk? Maybe it's a butterfly or a moth even. Is it a furred one, a wolf, a deer, a bunny? What comes forward for you? Could it be the snake, the panther, the hummingbird, eagle, condor? Whatever comes forward for you, they are here to give you a divine message that you need to hear right now in this moment. They may send you a message of love and energy, knowing or thoughts. They may speak to you in a way that you understand. And you may have questions for them. So take this time now. Ask any questions that you may have. Perhaps there is a challenge you are facing in this very moment that you'd like clarity. Your spirit animal will stay with you as long as you need them, as long as there is a need for them, guiding you on your journey, protecting you and healing you, working with the medicine they bring. At this time, as their energy recedes, before you take your leave from this sacred realm, the violet flame of Saint Germain comes forth, floating in from above. The violet flame of Saint Germain gifts you a purple feather. And as you hold this sacred purple feather, The violet flame lights a purple fire nearby, filled with the magical transformational, transmutative energy of the purple flame of the seventh ray. This fire is cleansing and purifying. This purple feather 
you may choose to use to cut any and all negative cords and attachments from you and to you now. You may choose to use air energy with the feather. Or maybe you'd like to combine air and fire and dip this feather into the purple flame that does not burn you, but rather assists you in cleansing, clearing and purifying all that no longer serves you. Waving that feather, especially in front of your solar plexus area where all the cords you send out to the world are sent and all the cords the world sends to you flow in and asking with intention from the assistance of Violet Flame of Saint Germain, this gifted purple feather, ask that all negative cords and attachments from you and to you now be severed. If you choose, you do not want all to be severed, but rather narrow the cords. You can make them as small as a pin. So you can narrow the cords if you'd prefer or sever those cords, allowing only cords of love and light that serve the highest good to remain. You can continue to send this energy with this feather around your entire aura. The flame, the purple flame, gets brighter and brighter from the fire that violet flame of Saint Germain has built. Um, Saint Germain invites you to step into the fire if you'd like to feel the purple flame energy cleanse your aura so saint germain will guide you in if you'd like stepping in the fire or just being near the fire you're cleansing your aura purifying allow the purple flame to transmute all that no longer serves you into pure light The purple feather is yours to keep going forward. And now Archangel Michael steps forward. Archangel Michael, the divine protector of all the angels and us. Archangel Michael fills an energy ball of electric blue light, embeds a beautiful lightning bolt, so Walu rune symbol, inside the beautiful electric blue energy ball. He sends that energy ball into your, your being, right into the center of your being. Allow that electric blue light to fill you up, to go wherever you need healing and wherever there are now holes from those cut cords. Allow that energy to fill those holes up with light, with love, with healing and intend that the energy goes to where you know it needs to as well for the highest and best good of all, always. As you're ready, thank by the flame of Saint Germain. Thanking Saint Germain, you may give him a hug thanking Archangel Michael, thanking your spirit animal, thanking your main spirit guide as well, who is now going to walk with you. So you begin to take your leave from this sacred place. As you step back on the path in the secluded forest, you begin your walk back transformed knowing that in the days and weeks ahead, transformations are coming. Walking back on this path, you begin to see that portal of light in the distance.
stepping through that portal of light now, you come back into your sacred space. In your sacred space, you thank your main spirit guide once again, knowing that you can come back here anytime you need to, thanking the great guardians, angels, archangels, and gatekeepers as well, Archangel Metatron above, Archangel Samuel and Archangel Sindolphin, we release you. Archangel Uriel in the north, Archangel Gabriel in the west, Archangel Michael in the south, and Archangel Raphael in the east, we release you. Now as you're ready, beginning to allow your awareness to come back more fully into this room, into your body, wiggling fingers and toes in this present moment.